Welcome back to the second part of this 2D character tutorial. In the last video we made a 2D character with Inkscape and today we rig our character in Blender and then you are ready to make amazing and very cool animations for video games or explainer videos or whatever you want. Welcome back guys. In my last video we created this guy here with Inkscape. If you didn't saw this video yet, I recommend to watch it before we start to rig this character. At first we export the full character as a PNG file so that maybe we can use it as a blueprint then later, okay? And then we clean it up a little bit and we separate all the parts from the character so that we can export each part as PNG. Because later then in Blender we need every part as a separated object. And then when we exported every part we go open Blender and we are looking for import. Now we activate this import export images as planes and now we can import every part from our character as a plane. And then here we choose shadeless and dots bu. Now we import all, all the images and I can see here we get all the images as a plane here. And then we delete the cube. Now we can see every object here. And you can see here there are some parts here because they are overlapping. But this is not a problem. We can resolve this problem. Okay, and then we select everything and bring them into the right position. Rotate along the z-axis. Okay, and then we go to color management and change filmic into standard. And then let's move every part there where it must be. And yes, of course, you can animate this character this way, but there is a way better because we want to do this with bones that looks too mechanical, okay? Then we select everything here in edit mode. With control R, we select the knife tool and then hit um, enter to finish the cut. Then select it again, control R. Now we have cut out these parts and now then we go to the face select mode and then we select all the cut out faces here. Now you can see we have resolved this problem with this overlapping parts when we export this character from Inkscape. Then when everything is selected we hit Ctrl and T that every vertex is connected in the middle of the plane and then right click, subdivide, and then we click here, choose 10, and now this is enough. And then we do the same thing with every other part from our 2D character. And after that we place the 3D cursor in the middle from the body with shift A, we're adding a bone. Then we go to the skeleton options here, viewport display in front so that the bone is always in the front. Then go to edit mode and scale it down here, we place the bone here and select the top. With E we extrude, this is for the neck, it's not so important the neck for this character, but we make one, another one is for the head. Then here you can see when you go to pose mode we can move the armature and we place the 3D cursor here and adding a new bone structure for the arm on the right side. You can see this is connected. Then we go to edit mode here, then we can edit each bone. The upper arm, then the lower arm, 
and another one control E for the hand. Same thing we do here with the left arm and the legs and then we select the main bone from each bone chain and the bone in the middle control P and keep offset. Then when we go to pose mode you can make a try. See when we select the bone here in the middle we can move them around and you can see all the bone chains are connected with them. Then we select all the objects from the character and then the armature control P with automatic weights. Now the character is connected with the, the armature but we have to edit something here with the weighting but at first we give each bone a name for example here for the upper arm dot R and upper arm dot L for the left and the right side. Now you can see here it is not perfect yet okay because we have to edit this weighting from manual now. And then we select an object like the jacket here from our character and go to weight paint mode and then here to the material settings we change to alpha clip and opaque here okay so that we can see the details in the weight paint mode and because of the weighting every bone has a vertex group okay and then we click on this vertex groups here and you can see all the bones. When you select the bone, you can see where is the weighting, okay? Where's the color? And here this part we can delete, we can dock it, and now we don't have any influence there. You can see, we select the bone here from the arm. It is moving, you can see uh, the jacket is still moving with the arm bone, okay? With the upper arm bone, then we select again. And here we dock this part. Now let's select again upper arm bone. Now you can see when, when we rotate that looks really good. Okay, Same thing we do here with the bone from the other arm. The upper arm bone you can see here. <clears throat> Just delete all these parts here from the body. And then back in object mode we select the head and now we have to change this part on the material settings from alpha clip and opaque and this we have to do with all the objects from this character. When we select the left upper arm bone you can see here that we have to edit something from the head and then go back to the upper arm left and you can see that we have to change something here and see the upper body bone looks great only here this part go back to the upper arm bone, select, can deselect the height, the head here. Let's have a look at first on the weight paint mode. And let's do the neck here, we do make, we change this, I can hide the head and it's up with the neck here, I think, it has jumped behind. Let's have a look. Okay. Good. Now let's go back to object mode and you can see here that I don't know where is the neck. Let's have a look from the side view. I think oh, that looks strange. Okay, it's on the back side from the upper body layer. Let's move it in front. Now you can see here, it looks great. Let's go to the leg, to the upper leg and here you can see that the upper body is moving and here it's only moving the jacket when we move the left and the shoes. Okay, we have to do something here that isn't perfect yet. And also the head bone you can see. <laughs> Okay, let's change this here at first, alpha clip and opaque. Now here. Let's draw this. Okay, still moving the upper body. Let's select bone. 
and let's dark this part. Let's dark all the body. Okay, you can see the neck is moving with the character, but that's what I need because we don't need any neck for this type of character, okay? Now, we go to the right leg. But the hips, this part here, we have to add it now. Where the right upper leg is here. See, we can dark this part. Maybe like this. Let's give it a try. Looks much better, but the upper body, I don't want to move it with this bone, okay? Upper leg R and dark all of this part here. Okay, it doesn't look so bad now. We select again the hips part here. Then here we can add something of color. Okay. You can see here the, the left leg. The left foot is moving with the bone, with the upper leg right bone. We have to make a few changes. Now we select the right foot and vertex and then we go to the upper leg right to this bone. And here is only a little bit. You can see that you can't see it, I mean. Then when we select this bone here, you can see that it is still moving, then it is another bone. Let's go to the lower leg from the right side. Or let's give it a try with the foot here. Now you can see, now that looks great, only we have to edit now here from the upper leg, left side the jacket because we don't want to move this part here you see here is the color and just dark it and then the upper leg on the left side we have to change something here okay that doesn't look good we can we have to edit something here Is subtract. Now it's much better. Okay, here we have to do make some changes. The foot, I don't want to move it like that. That looks very mechanical. Then we select the foot elbow. go to the this part here and here we dark this part. Let's give it a try. Much better. You can't move a foot <laughs> like that. It's You can't move it like crazy in the real life, okay? So it looks good. And here we have to make do the same thing. Select the foot right bone and then here we dark this part. Much better. Alright. Now you prepare to rig a 2D character in Blender. Okay? If you found this tutorial helpful then just give it a like, subscribe to my channel and then see you soon. Bye!